video we're going to look at another example of a transition matrix however this one's more focused on so like the the number of people as such rather than the other one was just working out the probabilities so looking at the question 100 students purchase either pizza or curry from a school canteen if they purchase pizza the previous day they have a 40 percent chance of eating it again and 70 percent chance of eating pizza if they ate curry the previous day so a if 80 ate pizza on monday how many ate curry on wednesday so good idea is just pause the video, have a go at it, and try and understand the question, because that's, that's probably the toughest part of this, just identifying the key parts of the questions and then being able to use them in the formulas. So firstly, 100 students purchase either pizza or curry from a school canteen. So we need to make the transition matrixy. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to put pizza as sort of the success or the, on the left-hand side, and then put curry on the right and on the bottom. So if they purchased pizza the previous day and they have a 40% chance of eating it again. So that's basically pizza, pizza, so 0 0.4. So that means if they ate pizza the previous day, they have a 0 0.6 chance of eating curry. Now, 70% chance of eating pizza if they ate curry the previous day. So that means curry on the previous, pizza on the current, so we sub in 0 0.7, and then we know that this has to equal 0 0.3. So once again, that equals 1, and that equals 1. So we can work out the transition matrix. Then, what is the initial condition? So what is S? So S is equal to, previously we were working at the probability, but now we look at the number of pizza, as in the number of people eating pizza, and the number of people eating curry. And that is given by the question, if 88 pizza, 88 pizza, how many ate curry? Well, initially it says 100 students purchased it. So obviously that's going to be 20. So look at that, we've got the transition and we've got the thing, uh, we've got the initial state. So this is on Monday. So now remember that this is on Monday, so that's referring to the initial condition. Now how many people ate Wednesday? So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's given by the initial, that's n equals 1, that's n equals 2. So now we know n equals 2, so you know that n equals 2, we've got the transition and we've got the initial condition. So we can sub this into the formula and work out what we get. So leaving that there, because we'll need that in the previous, in the next part, we can sub this in. So we say that Sn is equal to Tn times S. So now we got the S sort of like on the Wednesday is equal to T to the 2 times by S, so that's 80 on 20 and t is equal to that. Sub that into your calculator and we get that 56.2 and 43.8. So you can round that and say that therefore um, looking at the top 56 students ate pizza and 44 ate curry so the, uh, answering the question, we have that 44 students ate curry on Wednesday. So that's just an example of how it's the exact same formula, looking at the exact same question, but rather the main thing that's changing is the initial condition, because you're looking at the number of people, and your answers, rather than giving its probability, will just equal the number. And remember that you could just work out the probability then times by the total number and you could get the same. Um, you could make that like 0 0.8 and 0 0.2 and then times them by the total number at the end, but it's just simpler to do it this way. Quick note is you do have to round people because uh, the examiners won't like you saying like 43.2 students um, as with things that have to be like such as people, students, it can't be a fraction. It is always best to round. And in this question, you just round to the closest one. However, you do have to be careful in some questions in which, well, later on, rather than probability as such, we'll go over, that you always have to round up. But just remember for this one, and for students, you just round to the closest one.